What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scooby and Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, smash this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now we are on part four of our series. This is going to be the final part on how to pack for a dive trip. We went over our checklist, we went over servicing your gear, and we even showed you how we like to pack our gear. And we wanted to make it more efficient for the trip itself. Well in part four today, we're actually going to close this series out and talk about some of the last minute items you may want to grab before you head out on a dive trip. <music> So the first item that we're going to look at, and we kind of saw a preview of this when we showed you how to pack your gear, but that would be some type of boat bag or boat box that is a dry system. That way you can put stuff in it, whether it's a rolled up towel, whether it's spare batteries or things like that, things that you don't want to get wet when you're out there on the boat, you want to make sure that it's some type of dry system. Now, a lot of people prefer just a small little dry bag. Some people actually prefer a small little dry box. Whichever system you go with needs to be small, compact, but also large enough that it can fit the exact items that you need when you're out on your trip. Now the next item that we're going to look at, of course, are the tools themselves. Now tools are very important to us. We can change hoses, we can change out O-rings, we can even make adjustments as needed. Maybe we've got a slightly leaking regulator, we can simply tighten it down a little bit to where we're not going to have that problem. Unfortunately, those these tools can be heavy and if you take too many with you, of course, you're going to be overweighted during your flight. So that's where a nice little multi-tool is going to come into play. Now this one here just happens to be from Mares, but it'll fit many different manufacturers out there. And a cool thing about a multi-tool is you can take many many different tools with you in a small little light compact package and it works just like the big boy tools do but it's going to be great for your dive trip. So the next few items that we're going to look at are probably going to be the items that you're going to use the most of, such as battery chargers, spare batteries, whether it's for your cameras or your flashlight. There's also going to be certain items that you may not use quite as often, but you want to have on hand. And these are very inexpensive items, such as spare mouthpieces, spare fin straps, or even a spare mask strap. Or in my case, I always actually carry a spare mask with me. It's a lot easier just to reach down and pick up the spare mask versus on a boat trying to thread that mask strap back through the buckle. But a couple of other items that you may want to think about is a spare battery kit for your dive computer. Now if your dive computer of course is a rechargeable system, you just take a charger with you. But if it's not, if it's got a user friendly battery, then of course taking a spare battery kit for your specific computer is going to be a great help in the event that say your battery dies when you're out there on the dive trip. The next items up, of course, are some type of cleaning detergent. Now, you don't want to take a big, big bottle with you. They tend to be very, very heavy in your luggage. But these small, little, light, compact travel systems that help you wash your gear out, that's what you want to look for when you go on a dive trip. They're very easy to throw in your bag, throw in your box. And then, of course, you can actually do a thorough gear rinse, if you will, of your equipment at the end of your dive trip. Plus, it's going to make your stuff smell really good if you got a long flight back or a long drive back as well. So cleaning items are definitely a must on every dive trip as well. Now, the last item that we're going to look at, of course, is your logbook. Now, whether you choose to use a hard copy book or you use a digital system like what comes on the MySSI app, it's a great item to have when you're out there diving. You can put all the information from every dive on it, and that's going to help you grow in the future as a diver. Whether it's a good dive or a bad dive, you can go back and review that information, and you can learn from it. You can help log your SAC rate or your RMV rate. If you have an equipment failure or a problem, you can put that in there so that you know to get it serviced when you get back from your dive trip. The logbook's also going to help you in the future with dive training. If you have to show that you've got a certain number of dives as a prerequisite for a certain course, your logbook will be there to help you out. But guys, that's going to be it for this series of videos. I really hope you enjoyed this. If you've got any questions on how to pack for a dive trip or you have concerns, drop me a comment down below. If you notice that I left something off any of these videos, drop me a comment of what should have been added or things that you take on your dive trip as well. But guys, I really hope you did enjoy the series. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. I'm going to go ahead and sign off for today. So take care, God bless, and I will see you in the next video.